Hey guys, this is Matt for Creative. Um, sorry about the noise in the background, that's the dishwasher just doing his thing over there. But I want to talk to you about the Apple Watch. And it's not just any Apple Watch. This is an old Apple Watch Series 6. And I'm gonna tell you a story about what I wanted to do this year and why I'm not gonna be doing it. Um, but let's just start. Every single year I update my phone, uh, except for this year. I have the 13 Pro, I was going to do the 14 Pro, but I damaged the back of my camera module here, um, so I'm not going to get the full money back. So I'm like, it's not that big of an increase for me, so I'm not going to do it. Instead, I'm going to focus on the Apple Watch Ultra. And I was like, the battery life is why I'm doing this. The size, I don't mind that it's a much bigger watch it'd actually probably be a little bit better because i like kind of glancing at things and seeing a big screen and i'm very happy with that but for me i was just going for that battery life and i discovered one thing on the apple watch series 6 and i think it works down to the series 4 as well but this is one thing i've been doing here's your your main screen you swipe up from the bottom oh, you really don't want to make this clear for everyone do you all right, you see that 100% thing? You can tap that and you can toggle low power mode on and off. Now for me, I'm keeping this low power mode on as long as I possibly can. So what you do is you can turn it on and then it kind of works as low power mode as it does on your phone, where if it goes below 80%, and you charge it and it goes above 80%, it'll be taken out of low power mode and you kind of just have to like toggle it back. Because for me, I always set my phone to low power mode just to get that extra battery life. But for this, there's actually a good thing. You can actually go and turn this on for three days. Instead of just doing this back and forth with having this charge and like discharge and all this, it can turn on for three days straight. So. What I do, I, I flip that on, and I've been using this in low power mode for the last two weeks. And a normal day where I'm up around like 8 a.m. and I'm kind of home, I put the watch back on just for this video, but I get home around like 8 p.m. I had, tw I used up 25% of my battery. And this is, okay, one thing it definitely does you can see this right here. The always on display is turned off. I'm okay sacrificing that as long as when I look at this, I can still see it. Going down here, picking it up, I can still see the time, I'm fine with that. And I'm still using this as I do all the time. Because really what I limit my Apple Watch to is messages, emails, and re really critical notifications like from Uber, from Lyft, from a lot of different things that I use, and still I'm getting all those notifications. So I am perfectly fine. Um, all the health stuff in the background, literally never cared about any of it. Don't care about that one bit. And for me, if I can go for a full kind of work day and only take off 25%, that's amazing because I could keep this on and I could really see how I would go overnight. Maybe I can start using some of the sleep tracking features, but I don't think I will. But really what this, re why is Siri keep on turning on? Stop it. What I really think this is gonna be good for is when I am on little trips or if I don't come home. For me, I have cats. I have a cat currently rubbing against my leg, wants to be played with. I'll be, I'll be there in just one moment. Just give me one moment. Um, but I have an automatic feeder. I have automatic water, a little water fountain, and their little litter tray that's going to be fine for a few days. Um, but one thing, strangely enough, it really kind of irks me, is that I couldn't actually get more than a, oh, a little bit over the day. So I would be fine wearing this, and then halfway through the next day I'd be like, I really can't use this. I got to turn this off and turn on sparingly, but really 25, I would imagine maybe another 10% would go overnight. You could have a solid two days 
and then come back home. You can have a little vacation, not even have to worry about bringing a charger. Because what can you do maybe instead? If you don't want to use your Apple Watch while you're sleeping, um, just turn it off. Just turn it off, leave it off, turn it on the next morning. You're still at that only taking 25% off and you're fine with the notifications. You're fine to live in your life. And this would be just so amazing. I have not done this yet, but still, just don't have to bring a charger. 25% per workday would comfortably, I really feel comfortably, give me three days. Now, all this story kind of goes into why I wanted to get the Apple Watch. And it kind of quoted 36 hours. And that would be amazing because imagine turning on low power mode on the, on the Ultra, you get so much more. And I know they're making a special low power mode for the Ultra, which is kind of different, but who knows what exactly. It's gonna be like five days. That's gonna be amazing. But with this, not spending any money this, this year, I have increased the battery life so much and made this such a more usable device. I've been really, really happy with that. So yeah, see, I just got a notification from Time, so I'm getting all my notifications, Time Magazine. Um, I recommend this. I really recommend turning low power mode. If you can sacrifice that always on display, which I can, and I, I think this really, really, really does help. I'm so happy with this. Um, I recommend it to everybody. And if you have maybe a Series 6 like I do, then it's kind of breathed new life into this. And I'm so just very, very happy with this. So guys, if you have any questions about the watch, maybe the Series 7, I have friends who have the Series 7, um, and there is still a possibility that I'll get the Ultra, but I'm not pressed into doing it right now. Um, I may even do that as well. So put all that in the comment section below. Don't forget on Instagram at m8b9. You can email me at matt8b9 at gmail.com. Um, one thing you can do to tell is, do you see that little ring right there? That little kind of open gold ring? That shows that you're in low power mode. And again, all you need to do is just swipe up from the bottom. And by the way, Siri is going crazy and it's always just listening. I don't, it's annoying me right now, but you still can get that Siri activation. So you don't lose that as well. But again, you swipe up from the bottom, you hit the battery, you can turn on low power mode, turn off low power mode, and you are set. So just think about that if you really want to prolong your uh, current Apple Watch and not have to pony up for the next one. This is really shocking. This is the first year again that I have not gotten a new iPhone at all or a new Apple accessory. It's shocking. It really is shocking. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, anything, just put it down below. And I will see you guys next time.